Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming in. Look at what we have here. We got a couple of planters that we are going to uh, put in place and replace the duplex jigs, um, and then get back to making gold. We'll have a we'll have a, a completely upgraded tier four upgraded wash plant once we get those in place. So that is the plan for today's episode. All right, so let's see here. It is still it's about. Uh, eight o'clock, a little after eight o'clock at night, on uh, in this in-game day, we still have three days till winter, and I'm I'm still gonna try and take as much advantage of that time as possible. Um, you know, before winter sets in. So let's go ahead and turn that off, pop out here, and we got to go over and get our excavator and bring it. Um. Well, actually, you know what? I guess I have a few things I, I need to move out of the way down here first. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, okay, so we, ha we haven't run any new dirt through here, so that's good. All right, so let's see here. We're going to pick up the hog pans, and let's just kind of put them over here for the moment so they're out of the way. And then I will get the... Can I not pick up the whole thingy here? Uh, maybe I have to have the mats out first. Oh, I'll bet you it's because the water's connected. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's get that out of the way. And we'll put the hog pan over here. And then we should be able to pick up the sluice. There we go. Okay. I, in fact, you know, I might not even have to move this stuff. Now that I think about it, we definitely, I'm sure we want to get the buckets out of here. So let's put these over here. And then, um, let's see, this has to get, uh, this has to be moved, so we'll put this over here. You know what I think? Hmm. You know what I think I'm going to do? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking about maybe sleeping just so we have more light, but there's a lot more time left in this day that I could pull a lot more gold out. And because we are so close to winter, I think we're just going to work in the dark. So hopefully you guys can see everything okay with my light on and all of that. Okay, so let's get those buckets out of there. I might try and do this other uh, duplex jig without moving the hog pan. I should be able to do that. I should be able to just get over there with the backhoe and the chain and, and pull it right out of there, I'm thinking. So, okay. All right, let's run over here and get the backhoe, and I'll get some chains, and we'll start moving stuff around. All right. Why don't we see if we can actually turn our light this way so we can see what's going on better. So we want to rotate this to the left. That's pretty good. Good enough to see what we need to do anyway. All right, so... Let's come around and grab the first jig. Drop those down, maybe back up a little more. All right, we'll try that. Remove hose before detaching. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, we're going to have to actually remove the power probably, too. Let's do that. And the hose is the mainline hose up here. Oh, I should have my water turned off. In fact, that, that'll probably satisfy that requirement. Let's see what it does. There we go. All right, and you go 
there. Um, was I just seeing the... There we go. You can pick it up through the thing, which is good. Because otherwise I couldn't see it. And that one is right there. Okay. All right, let's uh, lift her up here. Oh, man, really? Okay. <laughs> Crap. We're going to have to lift it up and then move back really quickly because otherwise it'll want to snap back into place. Okay, that worked. Am I up as high as I can go? Yeah, we're going to have to... I got dirt in the bucket, but you know what? We're probably just going to lose it because I got to get this up higher. Oh, man. Easy there, buddy. Easy. Okay. <laughs> I think it's swinging all over the place. Oh, man. Okay, let's drop her down. Well, didn't quite mean to drop it on its side. When I pull out, these hooks might grab onto it again. And we'll see what it does. Um, I want to get the other one <clears throat> in place and hooked up before I actually sell this just to make sure everything's going to work. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't, but... Oh, I told you that was going to happen. <laughs> Crap. Um, all right, here, let's... I mean, they're, the chains aren't even technically connected to it. They're just... Oops. Having uh, button pressing issues today. Now, can I lift this up? There we go. Now we're good. Okay, so let's grab a planter now and put it in place of this one. And again, just make sure everything's going to work before we completely sell off the jigs. I actually I have some extra duplex jig pumps that I bought because you know I've replaced them several times, but the planters probably don't use those, and if they don't, I'll just sell them back. Well, maybe they do. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so let's um. Lower this down and smash our our planter in the process. Might need to back up just a smidge to well, maybe not that far. Okay, let's try that. Alright, so my guess is that this in yeah, that in goes in next. This thing looks actually less Uh, modern than this, I guess. I don't know if modern is the word or not. Like, it's got the wood hopper and stuff. I don't know. Well, it is. it costs more, so it's got to be better, right? Um, And I'm going to want... Okay, so I'm going to want to swing this around. So we got to hook it up that way. So that means I want... This is going to be... This is actually going to be the back connection for here. 
and this will be the front connection. You will be this back connection. And you will be this front connection. Okay. Now, let's try and gently lift this up, if that's even possible. There we go. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, let's go pop it in place. There we go. Nifty. Okay. So we should be able to just take the power connection and plug it into the top of there. That works. So, oh, okay, I see. So we put the buckets below these chutes. Interesting. Okay. Very good. All right. I think... I think we should be able to get this one off there without having to move the hog pen. Um, yeah. Let's back up a little bit. Uh, I might need to come down a little bit more, actually. Okay, let's try that. Okay, which one do we have? We have the back one here. And the front one popped out for us. Nice. Okay. So, let's see here. Up. And then back quick before it pops back in place. Whoa! Oh, man. It just makes me so nervous. That thing's swinging around like that. All right. I think we're good. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do a quick save. And then let's go ahead and sell the two duplex jigs only. All right. Uh, we'll get, we're going to get $34,000 for selling both of those. There we go. Okay. That brings us up to 108,000 and change. I don't believe we'll need them anymore, but just in case something else happens, I'm not expecting I can reload that save if we had to get them back for any reason, but I don't think we will. Okay, let's grab this uh, second planter and go get it hooked up and then start running some dirt. And it's done. All right, cool. Now we need to plug this one in. 
Getting between those two shoots is fun. Why don't we wrap this up a little bit so it's not quite so tangled? There we go. That looks a little better. And then we should be able to put all of these buckets just down here. They'll be a little bit easier to get get at them over here too, which is nice. What happened to the other bucket? Oh, it's right here. Okay, let's get our hog pans stuff put back in place. I can't see where I'm going here. And the water hose. Having trouble getting, there we go, getting to just the right spot. And uh, let's see, the mats are over here. Normally I keep this chest right here, our extra mats. This one looks crooked. Never noticed that before. Huh. Okay, so that's plugged in. The uh, mats are in place. This guy we keep over here. And I think we're good to go, you guys. I think we're good to go. So we st do we still have dirt. Yeah, we got we got dirt in the rocker. We got dirt in the conveyor, and I have a full dump truck. So we got dirt, baby. We got dirt. All right, let me make sure my water's hooked up over here. It should be. <coughs> it's not. It is not hooked up. Okay, so this one we don't need to hook that one up. Um. Well, I don't. Or do we? I don't remember here. Let's turn the water on. One of those is for the wash washer machines and the other one's for the hog pans. Whoop. Didn't mean to jump down there. Okay, yeah, it looks like we need to swap these two out. Okay, now I see water flowing through the hog pans, so I think we're good on water. Let's start up the power. These kind of remind me of... Um, of the, uh, oh, what did they call it? Maybe they did call it a planter. In season two of Gold Rush, the Hoffmans were using something kind of similar to this. I've only actually seen seasons one and two so far. My my wife is uh, gone uh, for a couple of weeks to see family, and she wanted me to wait until she got back before we started season three. <laughs> so... Okay, so those buckets are 10% full now. Every, well, everything is pretty much 10% full. Hey, man, I see gold nuggets rolling out the end of this. What the heck? Hopefully it's getting caught by the miner's moss. Pretty cool, man. All right, so this is great. We have a fully upgraded Tier 4 wash plant. And I just about got nailed by gravel coming up with this thing. <laughs> by boulders so this is awesome guys all right so i'm going to um 
get the ex get the chains off the excavator excavator get it back up to the dig area and start moving dirt and i will bring you guys back for our first clean out and let's you know we'll see how the uh the planters perform now we're not really going to be able to well, well we should be able to tell the duplex jigs uh, when i was running really really good dirt the duplex jigs were producing about four ounces per bucket but on an average you know run that was more like two and a half to three ounces per bucket so you know if, if these guys uh, well i'm not really into really super good dirt right now though too because i'm trying to cut into the back 40 so i don't know we'll just see what they do but even if it's below four ounces you know that uh, per bucket you know we'll, we'll chalk that up to the to the dirt and not the not the planters very cool all right, guys, I'll, I'll see you back here uh, for our first fully Tier 4 operational wash plant clean-out. I think I said that right. All right, guys, we are back, and uh, we're just about full here. Okay, so those are at 100%, and there's our message there. Let's turn off all of this, and we'll turn on... No, not that. The wash tables. Uh, so I set up a couple more lights here. Uh, so we have one light here shining on the hoppers uh, because without that, it's really dark and I, I can't see the dirt dumping in there very well. I also have a light here that I'm actually probably going to turn a little more towards the hopper, but I don't have enough cables to hook everything up. Uh, I went to my, my uh, shop and got this little splitter that I already had. And then I have a light down here as well. But it's been thunderstorming pretty much nonstop as usual, so I haven't been able to buy any more, and I don't want to bother going into town. Okay, so everything's full down here. We're going to we're gonna test a uh, or check out a planter bucket first before we do um, the main clean-out because I'm just curious to see how much we're going to get from from one planter bucket. So let's go down here. And grab this one and see what we get. So we'll put this in you and get that going. We'll pull the other ones over here too while we're waiting for that. This is a little nicer because I don't have to crouch down in between to get the the back buckets like I did on the jigs. We'll throw that in there. Keep these going. And let's start this. We're just going to run the one bucket through the table there to start with. Okay, let's just stop that for the moment. Before I don't want to add more to it because I just want to see what we're going to hit for the single bucket. All right, so four and a half ounces is better than anything I've ever seen from the duplex jigs, including, you know, some of our best cleanouts. Um, and, you know, we're in, pretty, we're in pretty good dirt, but that entire load was not necessarily um, really good dirt, though, especially the very, the, you know, the first half of it, because the first half of it was just kind of cutting into there. So that's pretty encouraging. I mean, that's pretty encouraging. So four and a half ounces for... You know, not the best dirt means that if we get a really good run of dirt through here, I'll bet you, you know, we might see up to maybe five and a half to six ounce buckets. You know, and that's a single bucket, you know, out of the four. So, yeah, that's great. It's it's a noticeable improvement for sure. Okay, so um, let's see here. Let's um, let's grab a U and keep doing the clean out. And I need to, you know, do the rest of it now, too, of course. So, yeah, this is cool. I, and, again, I, I like the it's a little bit better positioning for the buckets. And I'm liking it, man. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the clean out here. And then we're, we've lost our sound again. 
the sound cuts in and out on this game on certain some things and then other things it doesn't so it's really weird uh, but anyway i'm going to finish this clean out here i'll bring you back when we're done to show you the the full amount that we get out of it and uh, then as far as what's going on over here um i'm just kind of using a combination right now of the backhoe um and the front loader to start cutting back here um this is decent dirt here let's look at that on the gold map uh, so that's uh, this there's 150 ounces supposedly in that in that square so we're we'll probably grab that too as we go back uh, but this is kind of the main cut here into the back 40 and if we look at the gold that the backhoe is sitting on which is this square here um is that right yeah that would be the one the backhoe is sitting on okay so i think that's this square here but the oh you know what these these look like they've changed that's weird unless i'm too far forward but you can see you know once we start getting back in here then we get into some really nice stuff so that's the I get those are the unhighlighted squares in behind. So that means it starts right here. So these squares here are gonna gonna really have some good dirt in it. And um, I'm not sure you know about what's going on over here. I'll have to look at the gold map again. But um, I, and yeah, I don't know. I might not. I might not mess with this. Maybe we'll just do a cut straight back um, until we get to here because this whole area in here is really where the hot spot is. And unfortunately, it's also the lower spot too, which means there's less dirt, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, and I want to really hit the, the gold rich areas first and see, you know, how we do because what I'm hoping will happen by the end of, by the time we're getting towards the end of, mining old Arnold is we'll have enough to get a tier five setup. Well, <clears throat> actually there's two, there's two, there's two big things that need to happen. We need a tier five setup, but I also want to purchase the next, uh, parcel. I don't want to rent it because they take, you know, the, the higher level parcels take even more money than old Arnold did. And that, in fact, that's even probably more important now, the more I think about it than getting up to tier five. So yeah, we're going to need about, I want to, I don't remember off the top of my head, uh, we can't look at it here, but I think it's something like maybe $900,000 to purchase the next, the next one. I can't remember, but we're nevertheless, we're going to need a lot of money. So I might not go tier five or at least wait until I know I have enough money to purchase the next parcel outright and then kind of see where we are. So you know, and that's why I want to kind of hit the rich dirt first, because that'll give me a feel for whether or not it's going to really be worth our time to, to mine out the entire thing versus, you know, just hitting the hot spots. I don't know if that all made sense to you guys. It sort of kind of makes sense to me, <laughs> sort of. Uh, but anyway, all right. Yeah, I'll go finish this washout uh, the, or the clean out rather, and then bring you back and show you how much we got. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, we got 23.27 out of the big bucket for a total of 55.2 ounces on our first fully tier four clean out that's not bad um you know considering again the the entire batch of dirt that we ran through here was not you know uh rich dirt it was probably be the the la the first half was not the last the latter half was better so i'd say that was probably around an average uh maybe a little more than average load of dirt so you know i would get i would get like around 40 ounces with the tier three on an average load of dirt so you know we're, we're looking at a you know 10 to 15 ounce increased ish it, it's not an exact science of course but uh pretty cool all right so let's see where does that leave us i think what we're going to go ahead and do guys is wrap up the episode here um and then you know it's it's just back to digging like crazy and uh starting to cut into the back 40 here and uh, like I said, I think I'm going to go directly for the best dirt and not mess around too much with so-so dirt. Um, so this is so-so, this is so-so. I mean, it's, supposedly it has 150 ounces 
in there, but no rich spots. You know, and we can always come back and grab this later if, you know, if we need to, if we decide to. But you can see this kind of dirt in this upper area is, eh, it, it starts to get okay, you know, in through here. But this is, um, these are the really good spots in through here. You know, um, kind of in the center of the whole thing. And then it's, uh, it doesn't get so great back in here again. Uh, really good in through here though. So yeah, right, right up along the, all the way along the ramp, uh, on the west side of the ramp is, is really good. So, um, I'm going to focus on that gold rich dirt and see if we can raise enough money to purchase our next parcel and then go from there. You know what, actually, why don't I'll tell you what, before I, before I wrap up the episode, I'm going to run into town. What time is it? It's almost 10 o'clock. Yeah, we still have, we still have two more hours in this day and I could probably run, you know, a couple more cleanings through before the day ends. Um, but let's, let's go ahead and run into town real quick and just look and see what that next parcel is going to cost us and maybe also assess the the tier five stuff. I'm, I'm, I've looked at the tier five stuff, but I haven't looked closely at it because, you know, it, it hasn't been within our reach and it still isn't yet, but it's what we're going to, one of the, the things we're going to be start, you know, starting to work towards. So I'll see you guys in town. Okay. We're at the uh, shop here first. So let's look at the tier five stuff first. So that's going to, I think it's all back here. So we're looking at this uh, Glacier Creek. I'm going to get my calculator out and try and, rather than try and do this in my head. Okay, so we have 1,079,172 that we have to raise to buy that guy. Ooh-wee, that's expensive. Um, and then we have the reinforced trommel. So we're going to add another 477, 648 onto that. And then we have these gravel pumps. So we're going to add another uh, 569. 160 plus 569, 160. Okay, so to get upgraded to tier 5, this is without the Frankenstein, by the way. Well, I don't think Frankenstein's considered a tier 5. It's not a wash plant component, anyway. Well, it sort of is. Anyway, with the, without the Frankenstein, basically we need 2.7 million to to upgrade to a full fully tier 5 wash plant sans the Frankenstein. Um, okay. So, so we're looking at 2.7, uh, 2 just for, just for tier five. Now let's run into town here and see what the next parcel is going to cost. And while I'm thinking about it, before I forget, I'm going to grab some of those electrical cords that I need too. So we'll stop here first. And I need two more of these, but I'm going to grab four just so I have some spares. Uh, I'm trying to think of it. I don't think there's anything else I need at the moment. There probably is, but I can't think of what it would be. I have a coupler in case I needed one for distance, but we should be good. Man, my truck's a mess. Oh, I got the lag bug again. Doggone it. It's so irritating. Okay, so let's look at parcels. Um, I'm it's kind of in my mind to skip Rivertown, mainly because it's a real pain in the neck to get to. But it's gonna cost. Oh, this one is okay. Yeah, this one's one point two million to buy. Wow. Okay, what's the next one up? The next one is Pine Valley. That's one point eight million. All right, and then the biggest one is is a Nighthawk, which is 2.4 million. My goodness, those are expensive. Okay, well, 
I guess what will determine whether or not we buy Rivertown versus Pine Valley next will be the amount of gold we pull out of Old Arnold. Um, that's really what it's going to come down to. Because uh, I really don't have anything else now moving forward that, that I need to purchase. We have all the equipment that we need. We're fully upgraded to Tier 4. I'm going to prioritize, you know, raising the money to buy... Uh, on the next parcel before we do tier five. Um, at least that's the way I think it is. Now, if the, if the gold really starts rolling in and, and it looks to me like we'll be able to raise enough money to buy the parcel and to upgrade to tier five before we leave old Arnold. And I'm not even sure if that's possible, but if it is, then that's of course the route that we'll take. But I, I do believe, I do feel like raising the money to purchase the parcel is the higher priority right now than getting into to tier five. Uh, oh, and again, I just want to point something out. Notice that, yeah, even, uh, so right now we're on old Arnold, right? So Arnold was taking 30% of our take. Rivertown takes 35%, and Pine Valley takes 40%, and Nighthawk takes 45%. It's like, no way. <laughs> There's absolutely no way I'm going to lease those properties and give up that much gold. It ain't going to happen. Um, so... I, I'm I'm pretty confident. I'm almost. In fact, I'm positive we can raise enough money on Old Arnold to, to purchase uh, a new parcel. I'm just not sure if we can raise enough money to purchase a new parcel and also fully upgrade to tier five. But we'll see how things go. All right, guys. Well, anyway, I'm going to let you go here. I'm probably going to actually log out of the game and relog because this lag is terrible. And um, I'm just going to be digging, making gold, and I might not bring you back f until I have you know. Um, enough money to to actually purchase uh what i'm going to shoot for is pine valley um that's what i'm going to shoot for uh, if you guys have a compelling reason for why i should go to rivertown next instead of pine valley uh definitely let me know in the comments because i'm I, I would be curious to hear if, if there's a compelling reason to do that the assumption is you know pine valley is is more expensive but it's a, you know there's probably more gold there too right i mean i'm assuming that because why else would it be more expensive um so anyway yeah just let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think and i'll bring you back with an update uh in the next episode at some point with how we're doing all right talk to you later bye